What's up tech gang, Stefan here from TechRite. Today I'm gonna to be showing you some tips and tricks on the new Samsung Galaxy A13 5G. Stay tuned. Welcome everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. We have the A13 5G right here and we're just gonna get straight into this and start off with the first tip. Now the first tip is going to be called SOS message. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the search bar in the settings and type in SOS. Once we type in SOS, we have a thing called send SOS messages right here and it's going to be in advanced features. So to go ahead and use this feature, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on send SOS messages and we're gonna to wanna to click this on. Now it says, let people know you need help in an emergency by pressing the side key. And so we have the side key times right here. Um, I set it to four, you guys can go ahead and set it on three, but I just set it on four just in case, you know, I press the side key. It doesn't send an SOS message to somebody. It also auto calls somebody right here. If you wanna go ahead and choose the person that it calls, you guys can go ahead and set that. Uh, we also have attached pictures if you guys want to go ahead and set that up. So you guys can just go ahead and click that and you can attach audio recording. So when you attach pictures or go ahead and turn this on, it actually takes photos of wherever the phone is currently. So someone may be getting kidnapped or someone may be getting robbed. If you turn that on, it's gonna take a photo wherever you're pointing the front and rear facing camera at. You guys can also attach the audio. So it's going to record the first five second audio once you go ahead and click on that. And uh, you guys can also choose who you send the message to. And all you have to do to do that is go ahead and click add. You're gonna either create a contact or select from contacts. We went ahead and selected a contact and it's going to send it to all of these contacts that are on your list. So we are going to back out and actually go ahead and try this out. So let's go ahead and back out of this. And this can work when your phone is closed as well. And we have another phone right here just to go ahead and show you. We have that Moto X100. Now all we're gonna go ahead and do is click that four times. So if you're in a place where you may be getting kidnapped, something sketch may have happened, one, two, three, four. And then it's gonna start sending an SOS message. It says your SOS message will be uh, sent to these people in two seconds. And it sent an updated location as well as a voice recording. And I believe the photos are going to be coming in soon as well. So if you guys are ever in a place where you feel unsafe or you think something's gonna happen, you guys can go ahead and click your uh, phone four times right here. Click the side key, the power button, and uh, it will go ahead and send this to everybody that's on your emergency contact list or whoever you add to that list. Next trick is going to be based on the secure folder. Now, a lot of people don't even know you have a secure folder, but there is something on your phone that's called secure folder right here. So we're gonna go over here. You guys can go ahead and type it in if you want to, but go ahead and click on secure folder. Now, if you don't have a pin set up yet, obviously go ahead and make a pin, but we're gonna go ahead and enter mine right now. And as you guys see, we have certain applications in here um, that are a part of the secure folder. So we have some secure contacts, we, can, we have secure files, we have secure internet, secure camera, secure gallery. Uh, now, these are already on the regular homepage, but if you guys want to hide any of these, you guys can go ahead and put them in here. We can also add other applications in here to the secure folder. You guys can also add files as well, so go ahead and click add files so we can add images, videos, audio, documents, and files. But if the phone is still open, just go ahead and close it, boom, put in that fingerprint and you're gonna have to put in your pin all over again. Next tip is going to be video calling iPhone users. So if there's a user or a friend that you have uh, that has an iPhone and you wanna go ahead and FaceTime them or video call them or whatever, if they have Google Duo, you guys can actually go ahead and video call them. And it's actually built into the FaceTime. So if you go ahead and click on the video calling application right there, uh, we have for Steve, you guys can go ahead and click on video calling if they have an Android, or you can go ahead and set up your Duo account um, and go ahead and click on Duo, and you can now video call an iPhone user. Next tip I'm gonna be showing you is creating a contact. Now, there are many different things you can do on this phone, and I'm gonna show you right now, but it's really, really cool and unique uh, what you can do with a contact now. Now, let's go ahead and make this contact named James. Let's go ahead and put 333-333-3333. Go ahead and save that. Now, we can actually go ahead and edit 
and add so many more things inside of here that I don't think people are aware of. But you can add a double phone number, you can add email, you can add groups, you can add work info, the address, uh, important dates that maybe correlate with this person like birthdays and anniversaries, uh, relationships, notes, websites, messenger accounts, and you guys can also put a custom ringtone for each contact as well. You guys can also put a call vibration pattern on as well. So maybe your kid is gonna be calling and you're at work and you need a different vibration pattern to know who's calling uh, by heart. You guys can go ahead and do that and I think that's a smart way of personalizing a contact. Next tip is going to be setting a call background. This one is really, really cool actually. We're gonna go ahead and go into phone right here. We're gonna go to keypad, click on the top three dots in the right corner right there. Go ahead and click on settings. Then we're gonna click on call background. And you guys can go ahead and choose the layout and the background. So as for the background, this is going to be the normal background as you guys see, but you can go ahead and change it. Um, you can choose this right here. You guys can go ahead and choose this one, which was my favorite one. I like this one a lot. And we also have your little personal um, emoji figure or whatever right there. If you guys want to go ahead and put that of you dancing, which is pretty cool, honestly. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and keep it on this. We're going to go ahead and set as background. You guys can also change the layout if you would like to as well. So choose how caller info when the person has a profile picture shows up. So you guys can go ahead and choose this smaller one right here or this bigger one. And we're going to go ahead and show you how that works right now. And this is how it shows up right here. So pretty cool stuff. Next tip is actually going to be call display. Now we're going to go back to our keypad V3 dots again, click settings. And then we also have call display right here call display while using applications. So we have three different options we can choose from. We have full screen, we have pop-up, and we have mini pop-up, and this is something that we've seen on iOS 12 as well. So, you know, this is uh, something you guys can go ahead and set up to spice up your experience on the uh, A13 5G. You can also keep calls and pop-up if you would like to by clicking this on. So I thought that was a uh, unique feature. Next tip is going to be motion gestures, and I thought this was really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and type in motion and gestures. Go ahead and click on that. Go ahead and click on motions and gestures again. And uh, there's something called double tap right here. So as you guys see, you guys can uh, turn on the screen with a double tap. Go ahead and turn that on, and you can turn off the screen with a double tap. So all you have to do is click in an empty space or double tap in an empty space to turn off the phone, one, two and that turns off the phone and I turn it back on, one, two. Next tip is going to be the one-handed mode. So we're going to go to settings and search one-handed mode. And that is gonna be in advanced features if you guys don't wanna search that. And we have one-handed mode right here. So go ahead and click this right here. Now it's going to temporarily scale down um, the phone size and you guys will be able to use it with one hand because this phone is quite big so people with smaller hands may have a hard time using this you can either do this with the gesture but I definitely recommend doing it with the button the double tap of the home button uh, it's much easier we're gonna go ahead and give you an example one two and it's going to shrink down to size and you guys can use this like it's a super mini phone and then if you want to get out of this double tap and you are back to the regular size. Next tip is going to be in settings as well. So this is going to be very simple. Uh, this is going to uh, have to do with screenshots and it's actually going to let us hide the status bar. So we're gonna go to screenshot. So we have screenshots right here. We're gonna go ahead and click on screenshots. Now we have a little option right here that says hide the status and navigation bar. So as you guys see above, we have all of that information and some people really don't even care about that uh, and they don't want that to get into the screenshot. So all we have to do is go ahead and click on that and we're gonna go ahead and take a screenshot, which is volume down in the power key. Three, two, one, go. Once we take the screenshot, we now see that there is no navigation bar or any other information above. And it just took a picture of the information that is on the screen. But yeah guys, those were some tips and tricks on the Galaxy A13 5G. If any of these did help, you definitely leave a like down below as well as subscribing. If you're not a part of the tech gang already, also hit the notification bell if you guys wanna be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, tech gang.